Yeah, and perfect weather this weekend for the Beaumont Mural Festival. The artists have laid down their brushes and the paint is officially drying. They're leaving behind more than a dozen beautiful pieces around the city of Beaumont. This mural of baseball legend Frank Robinson can be found near the Jefferson Theater. Those 40 artists use blank walls and freeway underpasses as their canvas. Organizers say the three-day-long event was a huge success. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman is live downtown where the festival took place. And it may be over, Ebony, but those murals are going to last for a lifetime. Yeah, Cam, this mural behind me has to be a fan favorite. It's about five stories tall, and it depicts Frankie Robertson. He's a Beaumont hometown hero who played two decades in MLB. And again, Cameron, it's just one of the examples of all the amazing work that was done here this weekend. <laughs> yeah, the artists that come to town, you know, they're, they have the community spirit. They have the community first mindset. So really they're here to just, you know, brighten people's days, have great, really positive interactions, uh, add something to Beaumont for years to come. It was another stroke of success for the second annual Beaumont Mural Festival hosted by the Visitors Bureau. Someone had told me about it yesterday, so I said it would be a nice place to bring the kids and, you know, to enjoy yourself on a Sunday. Over 40 artists from Southeast Texas and all across the world spent their weekend in downtown. Downtown Beaumont. Uh, he's been painting all week and it's the great weather, so he's feeling really good. Dragon76 is one of those artists, originally from Korea. I mean, Dragon is a world renowned artist, so like who is really gonna give this space the the prominence that it deserves? The space wants a dark underpass near the Charlton Pollard neighborhood. Cars driving by and honking and, and people saying thank you all week. He's been you know really happy to hear and five days and three coats of paint later. It's become something to be proud of. In the community who uh, gave him the concept of Charlton Pollard, uh, the two men in the picture. Charles Charlton and T.T. Pollard were educators in the community. And with only a black and white picture to work from, Dragon76, he took the idea and ran. Like a time traveler almost um, and bringing the older figures, you know, into the into the now and into the future, looking towards the future. Dragon has worked all over the world, but this weekend the canvas was in Beaumont, where he continued to grow as an artist. Uh, great hospitality in this, this event. Yeah, so I'm so enjoyed every day. Yeah, thanks so much. Muzak says they already have a list of people waiting to get their walls painted next week. Now, if you want to be on that list, all you got to do is head over to the 12 News Now app. I'm live in Beaumont, guys. Ebony Coleman, 12 News. Uh -huh.